Oh, hi. So welcome to our sandcastle erosion investigation. Grab yourself your paper. You can use a blank paper, you can get your composition book, as long as you have something to write on. Let's go ahead and title our page while I make a sandcastle over here. Sandcastle, that's what we're writing. Sandcastle, that's a compound word. Erosion, go ahead and put this at the top of your paper. Erosion, investigation, that's the title. get our data collection page organized. So the remaining space on the page is going to be split in half. So make sure you leave enough room at the bottom. We're not gonna fill up the whole page. Just try to see the way that I space it out and see if you can do something similar. We're gonna start with the title, Wind. So the top half of our page is going to be about the wind. Just gonna draw some wind blowing. Yeah, that's pretty good. Maybe one more. Okay. So go ahead and put a line underneath. Nice and straight. In half. Only going about halfway down. Wind in half. Here we go. We're going to start all the way at the left so you can fit sand castle. Before. There we go. Sandcastle before. Then we're going to say sand castle after. Yeah. Sandcastle before, sandcastle after. Then draw a line underneath. We are making another row. The next row is height, H-E-I-G-H-T. And once again, H-E-I-G-H-T, height. So that's how tall our sandcastle is going to be. Then drawing, drawing. R A W I N G. Drawing. So drawing is the bottom section. Height. Sandcastle before. Sandcastle after. The wind. So notice that we used half the page and we're going to use the other half now. So now on this half of the page, we're going to write the word water. W A T E R. I'm just gonna draw a little bit of water on there as well. There we go. Maybe some droplets. Like it's raining down, not just a wave. Water. All right. Go ahead and draw the line underneath and everything else will look the same. So we're going to write sandcastle before And we're splitting this in half so we can write sand castle after on the other side. Sand castle before on this side, over the water, sand castle after over here. Draw the line again. Let's write height. Remember that's how tall the sand castle was before and how tall the sand castle will become after. Draw your line for height, and we're drawing, drawing. Go ahead and write the word drawing on both sides. There you go.
So now your notes for your sandcastle erosion investigation are set up with the wind section and the water section. Let's get started observing. All right, time to grab the ruler. Let's go measure our sandcastle's initial height. That's the height that we're starting off with on our sandcastle. You'll notice I'm trying to take a picture of the height of the sandcastle. I'm being really careful to start at the zero mark, not at the edge of the ruler. All right, you wanna see what the picture turned out like? It's not perfect, but it's okay. It does the job. Zoom in and take a look. What tick mark do you see at the top of the sandcastle? This is a good spot to pause the video so you can draw what the sandcastle looks like before the wind. I'm seeing the tip of this between the five and the six on the inches side. Do you see the tip of the sandcastle between the five and the six? I might call this five and a half inches. Go ahead and record that on your paper. Okay, now I'm measuring in centimeters. So I flipped my ruler around, and now you can see I'm looking at the centimeter side. Hmm, I can see that this is more than 13, but less than 14 centimeters. I feel like it's kind of near the middle. It's pretty close to 13 and a half centimeters. Let's write that in our notes. Make sure that you fill in the drawing section under the sandcastle before the wind. Draw what this sandcastle looks like before we have wind erosion happening. You may want to pause the video here. All right, now let's test out some wind power. I'm gonna just use my trusty straw to blow. Whoa, do you see that flying off of there? Looks like Jade wants to come help. Let's get some more wind. Okay, now we measure. Let's see what our sandcastle looks like after the wind. Hmm. It looks like it's 11 and a half at its tallest point. I know I'm a little crooked here, but I think if it stood straight up, it would be right at 11 and a half. Now I flipped my ruler around to the inches side. I'm making sure to start my measurement at the zero tick mark, not at the edge of the ruler. Hmm. This looks like it's still barely less than four and a half. Maybe if this is close to four and a half inches. Okay, let's go ahead and write in our notes. After the wind, the sandcastle has a height of 11 and a half centimeters and a height of four and a half inches, depending on which side of the ruler I use to measure. Okay, this is a good spot to pause the video to draw what the sandcastle looks like after the wind erosion. Do you notice any changes? Now let me just grab my syringe so we can test the effects of water on our sandcastle. Let's get some water out of the bucket and let's make rain! Hmm. Okay, rain! Uh, okay, I, I think I need some more water. I kind of missed the sandcastle a little bit. Let's, let's make sure that the water makes it on. I tried with all my might and let a lot of wind through that straw. I need to let just as much water as I let of wind onto the sandcastle. Okay, so this still looks like a light sprinkle. 
like it's not as much rain as we might have on a really rainy day, but okay, I'll start small, that's fine. What do you notice happening? Do you think that this is going to cause more erosion or less erosion than the wind test? Hmm. The wind test we saw some sand flying off the top, but now I see the sand changing in a different way. Hmm. Okay, I think it's time for a torrential downpour. Let's call in an expert. Hi, Jade. Okay, here we go. Let's call in Mother Nature or Daughter Nature. No, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Daughter Nature just said that she wanted to pour more on the sandcastle, but I, I think that's plenty of water. All right, it's time to measure. Wow, do you see what the sandcastle looks like? Do you notice any changes? All right, time to measure in centimeters. Let's see. Hmm. I think the topmost point is about eight and a half centimeters at the tallest point. Is that the height you see? Let's try it now in inches. I'm making sure to get the zero tick mark, not the edge of the ruler for my measurements. And now it looks like the tallest point is three and a half inches. My ruler isn't perfectly straight, but I can see the three and a half. Make sure you've written down the measurements for the sandcastle before the water. Those measurements are the same as the sandcastle after the wind because we just used the same sandcastle. Then you're going to fill in the height for the sandcastle after the water erosion. We have eight and a half centimeters and three and a half inches. This is also a good time to pause the video so you can draw the drawing of the sandcastle after the water erosion. Okay, one final test for our sandcastle. According to my measurements, Jade has completely demolished this sandcastle. It is zero inches tall and zero centimeters tall from the base that we have been measuring from this whole time. Now while I clean up these sand toys, you get to start thinking about which of these forces of nature was the strongest. And I'm not talking about Jade. Was it the wind erosion? or the water erosion? Let's analyze the data in our notes that we collected to find out. 